The former NFL star Darren Sharper pleading guilty to sexual assault charges after being accused of drugging and assaulting women in four states. Sharper appearing to agreeing, I should say, to multiple plea deals nine years behind bars. ABC's Ryan Smith is here with that story. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Robin. Darren Sharper was one of the best players of the past decade in the NFL. Now he's facing, now he's in jail for numerous sexual assault charges. A real life Jekyll and Hyde who at one point supported women's causes, but later went on to attack women all over the country. Darren Sharper with a Super Bowl champ. The things that I've done in the past has been able to help teams uh, win. Earning millions over 14 NFL seasons. And later, shining as an NFL TV analyst. You don't want to have bad team chemistry. But this morning, the gridiron great suffering a staggering fall from grace. How do you plead the charge? After admitting he's been leading a double life, as a serial rapist. Authorities say Sharper sexually assaulted or attempted to assault at least nine women in four states over five months after rendering some of them unconscious by lacing their drinks with a generic form of Ambien. The effects can be felt within a few minutes, uh, especially when combined with alcohol. The attacks starting in New Orleans, then California, Arizona, and finally Nevada. Sharper was returning from that trip when his horrifying spree finally comes to an end. Police arresting him at the Los Angeles airport after one of his alleged victims reported him to police. Other victims followed, including a New Orleans Saints cheerleader and two women who, according to the arrest report, met Sharper at a Las Vegas nightclub before he invited them to his hotel room to make them shots. Hours later, both women woke up, unable to remember details after those drinks. One later recalling that she and Sharper did have intercourse. The other telling police it felt like she had sex but couldn't remember. Their hair samples later tested positive for that generic form of Ambien. Sharper's monstrous attacks even more shocking considering his support of women's causes like this event for breast cancer awareness. And it turns out the five-time pro bowler may have had partners in crime. A federal indictment alleges that he conspired with a former deputy sheriff to drug and rape women. And in New Orleans, he has a co-defendant accused of sexually assaulting some of the same women. Both men have pleaded not guilty, while Sharper, once said to be destined for the NFL Hall of Fame, is now headed to prison instead. He's agreed to plea deals in three states so far, and prosecutors say he'll serve his time in federal prison, Robin. But that time, many are questioning nine years. They're saying it's shockingly low. In New Orleans alone, he was facing life in prison. But there's a couple of things here. First, judges have to approve these deals, and you're talking about multiple states. Secondly, there are co-defendants in this case. So the implication by some speculating, saying that maybe he's flipping on other people, and maybe that's part of all of this. But the other part of this is prosecutors always say, hey, better not to take my chances at trial, risk an acquittal, and get a plea deal now. But it is shockingly mm -hmm. low for so many looking at this. So there may be more to the story. There may come. be more. All right, Ryan, thank you. Sure.